I'm Chris Ergler here with your Monday edition of the PE Crime Blotter. I'm joined now by Press Enterprises' Brian Rokos. We're downtown at the Hall of Justice here in downtown Riverside. Three of the suspects from the armed robbery and also shooting at a Moreno Valley pawn shop last week that turned into a pursuit that led into both Watts and the Cal State Fullerton campus were in court today. Brian, uh, not a whole lot uh, as far as development-wise for the three suspects. Right, really wasn't a surprise. Typically this early in the case, uh, things get postponed a little bit. Uh, the three defendants in court today, uh, DeMine Banks, Jerome Allen, and uh, Trayvon Vidal, they were all in court today. Uh, the arraignment was postponed to January 3rd, uh, they, at which time they'll all be assigned separate public defenders. Uh, there was just one public defender in court today, and they uh, held that over. Uh, so uh, they could all be represented uh, separately and they would have someone to, to work on their cases prior to the arraignment. Now two of these suspects, as far as we know, are still on the loose, but these guys that have been apprehended so far, if convicted, uh, what are they looking at? Well, the charges are uh, attempted murder and armed robbery. Uh, there's a, a gang enhancement uh, in there. Uh, uh, John Hall, a spokesman for the Riverside County District Attorney's Office, uh, told me that uh, they could face 30 years to life if convicted of all the charges. Uh, as you said, two people uh, are still outstanding. Cal State Fullerton, December 12th, was locked down for seven hours while uh, police there uh, looked for one of the gunmen. Uh, you can count on uh, sheriff's investigators trying to, to get that information, the identities of the other two people out of the three defendants here. And uh, so uh, there's a lot more uh, coming from this case. All right, that does it for your Monday edition of the PE Crime Blotter. Be sure to stay tuned right here on PE.com for the latest on this story.